Hey guys, what's up? Blur Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time, we saw against the prince, and he has turned into something different. Anyway, we are continuing right where we left off after the Panzer Soldat training against the prince. If you haven't checked that out, please check that out. That was a really good and amazing video. Anyway, here we are back on the Durflinger, I think it's called. That Spiegel they had at the main campus sure was something. As if we could get our hands on one of those. Or the high speed one Scarlet used. Oh, Scarlet! I miss her. I wonder what Scarlet's doing. Do we ever get to see her again? I want to see her. Looks like everyone is getting the hang of things. I was worried about Kurt, but he seems to have picked it up quickly. The problem is... Altina? Or Yuda? I want Jessica to be in my... class. I guess I'll just have to watch from afar. Is the principal coming? The land you'll be journeying to is a land of strife. A place over which we've battled with Calvert for centuries. A number of VIPs will be there as well. So the Imperial Army and the RMP will both be keeping a close eye on the country. Alright. But its bid for independence was only two years ago. So who knows what might happen on this trip. You say that in full well knowing what will happen. That's not funny. <laughs> <sighs> However, an unexpected crisis brings with it an opportunity for growth. Carry out your duties as though they were the will of Adios. And should the unexpected happen, fight with all your strength. That's what I intend to do. I eagerly await seeing how this experience will shape each of you. So go. And return triumphant. Yes, ma'am. Good luck, everyone. Ah, oh, men staying behind. Do come back safely. And Celestine. Hmm. Be sure to bring back thorough reports. We will. Guess everybody else is going. All the instructors. Principal, you staying behind again? Uh, yes, yeah, she is. You know, she just whooped my butt. Last, uh, last, uh, not last episode, the previous one. Oh my god, how I hate fighting her. Jesus. Trista, too. Trista. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to Trista. Our arrival at Crossbell Station is planned for 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Once we've loaded on our supply supplies, we'll proceed to the field exercise ground and begin our three days of exercise. By the way, Instructor Orlando, I'm sure you understand, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. Hmm? What's going on? I may as well inform you now. Instructor Ryan of Orlando has been dispatched to the branch campus from the Crossbell Military Police Division of the Imperial Army. He will, of course, know many people in Crossbell, but if he becomes distracted by that, it may negatively impact our field exercises. Because of that, we will have him remain at camp and refrain from entering the city. This may be an informal order, but it still comes from the government. That's ridiculous. That's just unfair. No, no, calm down, guys. To be honest, I came to the branch campus because of certain someone asked me to. I wasn't planning on going back to Crossbell until, until things had cooled down. But it's only natural they'd keep me 
where they can see me, given the current situation. Randy. <laughs> hey, come on now. Don't give me those faces. It's only been three months since away. It's way too soon to have a tearful reunion with my pals, you know? Unlike a certain someone I could name Reen. Randy. I plan to request leave for you to go into the city on the final day at least. Of course, if we have a task then, that will take precedence. I'm sorry, but I'd appreciate your understanding this time. Got it. Thanks for thinking of me though. Reen, Toa, don't worry your pretty little heads about me. Also, don't let any of the students know, especially Judy. Understood. Please, let me know if you'd like to use the communication network. Surely that will be allowed, right, Mayor? Yes, that should be fine. Let's get ourselves back on topic, though. Reason we're having to, to bout a field exercise so we can play backup for the inspection team, yeah? Yes. We will have both combat tactics and military finance perform their exercises while being prepared to respond in cases of emergency. Special operations will perform the same tasks as before, scout the area and fulfill local requests. Understood. Will there be any er an early morning briefing this time too? Correct. When we set up camp, gather your students. If there are no further questions, we will end today's briefing. Each of you, rest well tonight. Dismissed. No, everybody's going their jolly way. We all knew things would be different after annexation, but it it seems like there really is a lot going on. Yeah, I need to prepare myself mentally. This will be my first time back in Crossbow in a year. I wonder how much it's changed since it was first occupied. As someone involved with it, I need to be sure I don't look away. I see. I visited a few times over the past year for my NGO work, and I feel like it's recovered a lot, economically speaking. But I think it's important for you to see for yourself what things are like, along with Kurt, Altina, and Yuna. Of course. Alright, guess we'll go around the train and see what has changed. We'll arrive early tomorrow morning. Lights out in a couple hours. Maybe I'll check in on... The students before I rest. Also, I think I want to talk to Randy a bit too. Let's go around and see. Hey, Yuna. I can challenge her too. <laughs> All right, ready to go. Ah, oh, Yuna, you're here. You seem to be in high spirits. <laughs> of course I am. I never thought I'd be coming back home so soon. Oh, and we could go around the city this time too, right? Yes, just like last time, we'll have special operation missions. I'll give you the details at the briefing tomorrow morning. Ah, understood. I'm so excited. I hope the kids are doing well. Kids? Alright, you have younger siblings. Where does your family live? Huh? You want to come to my house? Well, as your instructor, I figured I'd meet your family. But more importantly, I thought you'd like to see them. You can go off on your own for a little while. So just let me know and I'll accommodate you. Uh, why is this guy so... A anyway, let's talk about this after we know what we're doing for our special operations missions. And allow me to be the guide for our activities. Of course. Thanks, Yuna. Is right. <sighs> something bothering you, Kurt? Oh, Instructor. To be honest, everything about this trip is bothering me. We've been fighting with Calver for hundreds of years over ownership of Crossbell. It's finally a part of the Empire now, but tensions are still high there, right? Yeah, that's correct. But it might be more accurate to say that tensions are high there because it's part of the Empire now. I see. I suppose that makes sense. 
I'm also concerned about why exactly His Highness came to tell us about the field exercises in the first place. He became a douche, that's why. You've known him for a while, haven't you, Kurt? Yes. As I'm sure you know, we Vanders were stationed at the Guardians of the Imperial Family. I've talked to him many times since we were children. I was certain that one day I'd have the honor of being appointed as his guardian. Your older brother Mueller, Vander, looked after Prince Oliver, right? Even as a child, I envied their relationship. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with my brother's physique. So I think there's a good chance his highness could end up growing even bigger than me. I wouldn't be worried if I were you. You're just fine considering you're still growing. I only know a little about the Vander style, but it's clear to me you've got the perfect frame for dual swords. You understand that, right? Yes. I'm sorry, I shouldn't complain about something that can't be changed. It's just that I can't believe how much his highness has grown. No, I just need to train more. Don't worry, I'll be focused on our exercise tomorrow. Now that I think of it, this must be much more pressure for you than it is for me, given that this is her home. You're right. Good. He realized it on his own. Well then, I'll be relying on you tomorrow, Kurt. Understood. Thank you. We can play Vantage ma Masters with him. Alright. Yes, give me that. Yes, give me that. Let's go. Oh, that's going to be really, really good for our Vantage uh, Master games. Let's see Altina now. It's been one year and two months since the two of us were last in Crossbell. It was during the mission that took us to the underground sector. Yeah, you're right. As far as I could tell from reading the Imperial Chronicle, there weren't any problems as a result of that. The Intelligence Division considers the region to be especially stable for an annexed territory. Apparently the Governor General's leadership is highly regarded there. Rufus Alberia. What is your plan, Rufus? I'm the son of the Alberia family, overseer of the Cruzan province and one of the four grey houses. Before I joined the intelligence division, he was the one who issued my orders. I remember, yeah. And, as the leader of the Ironbloods, he took down the Noble Alliance from within. Eusis. I wonder what Eusis thinks of his brother, knowing what we do now. Oh, Altina, is something wrong? I've been wondering... Is something wrong with Yuna? Hmm? I'm not sure how to explain it exactly, but something about her has seemed off ever since our field study location was announced. Hey, never mind. You don't need to worry about that right now. But if you go talk to her, I'm sure it would help. In situations like this, support from friends can make a world of difference. I'm not sure I completely understand, but I'll keep that in mind. And last but not least, Randy, my man. Where are you? There you are. Hey, boy. Hey, Reen. Wanna grab some coffee? Honestly, I prefer a nightcap, but I can't exactly be breaking out the booze with all the students around. Thanks for the offer, but late night coffee and an early morning is probably a bad combo. Maybe we can go get another drink together sometime, though. <laughs> Good point about the coffee. I love to go drinking again, though. Man, there are a ton of places I want to take you here. I want to take you to. There's this one casino bar I've been to before. Not to mention all the others filled to the brim with an eye full of, shall we say, classy ladies. 
<laughs> Sounds good to me. Maybe we'll have some time on the last day we're here. I don't know about the classy lady filled bars though. Come on. You're not a man until you have a good time at that place at a place like that. Well, guess my partner was still just a kid in the same sense though. He did seem like the serious type. I'm guessing with a baby face like his, the woman would be all over him. Lloyd Bannings. You're exactly right. Thing is, he doesn't even make use of those looks of his. It's such a waste. Hold up. Woman all over him? You're one to talk. With a face like yours and that sharp black hair, you're playing on easy mode. <laughs> and on top of all that, your sell-up status. I bet gals are falling for you left and right. Well, not really. People don't notice me much when I'm wearing glasses. I'll have to take it even more care not to stand out while wearing crossbell. I'm sure the people here don't exactly have the best opinion of me. Eh? Why not? As far as I know, most of the people here don't really have any hard feelings for the Ashen Chevalier. Really? Yeah, you were a student and you showed up after the annexation, right? Pretty much the only thing you did here was put a stop to Calvar's invasion. Wrong. I'm not sure everybody's for you, but I'd say maybe every 6 out of 10 people here like you. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better, you know? It's already been over a year since all that. I'm sure things have calmed down by now. I'm sure they won't start chucking rocks at you in the street or something, so don't worry about that. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting them to do that exactly. But seeing how Yuna has been towards me, I always prefer for a pretty icy reception. Oh, Yuni? Well, her situation is a little different from the average crossbellion. You gonna tell me? I'd appreciate it if you'd keep an eye on her during your field exercises. I'm sure she's got a lot on her mind. Yeah, of course. Huh? I actually feel a little encouraged now. Might not seem like it sometimes, but I've got three or four years worth of wisdom on you. So, what do you say? Let's get through this and look forward to having some drinks on the last day. You got it. Alright. Well, I went everywhere and talked to everyone, so let's just go to our room and rest. And proceed this with is the a story. message from Darflinger Car One for all Branch Campus students. We will arrive at the destination for our field exercises at 5:30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please don't stay up too late. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Yep, will do. <laughs> Toe's announcements are always so sweet like that. I suppose I ought to head back to my room before it gets too late. All right, let's do just that. I still got a little time before it lights out. I can keep making my rounds or I could go back to my room and rest now. Let's rest. We got a busy day ahead of us. And 520. Already in June 1st when I'm recording this. Jeez. Time flies. Someone there? Oh, Randy's up. Ugh. Hey, hot stuff. It's strange. I kind of drifted into Crossbell three years ago. Raised as a Jaeger, I was always going from place to place. Never thought I'd get all that attached anywhere in particular, but... Randy. It's been over a year for me. I need to prepare myself to come face to face with Crossbell. Like the termination ring. And we're here. Crossbell. My lord. I want to play that game. There's so much stuff I want to see. Ooh, get a look at that. It sure is a big city. 
You could fit all of your eye inside Crossbell City a, a few times over. <sighs> Why are y'all so loud? Just let me sleep a little bit longer. I just wake up, you have to wake up. Wow, what's that super tall building? I think it's called Orcus Tower, right Yuna? Yep, it's a 250 arch tall, the tallest tower in the world. Oh, she's sleeping, baby. She winks! She blinks. I'll be okay. I just need to get my head on straight. I actually forgot she's not blonde. <laughs> These actually fit pretty well. The province of Crossbell. 5.15 a.m. So we're stopping in Crossbell. Just like stock up and then leave. Jeez, took them long enough. <gasps> Sleen! I can only wonder how things will play out now that they're here. Maybe I'll go pay them a visit without telling Emma. <clears throat> because we absolutely need to find that woman. <laughs> Vita, yeah. Even if it means splitting up. Yes. <laughs> Excuses. Oh, Selene. Hmm? What? Range. I thought I saw something over there. Oh, Just there's nothing kidding. there. <laughs> Looks oh. like all the actors are arriving at their marks. But Campanella? It's still not enough. I need to make my grand declaration only once everyone has gathered. What? Campanella the fool. What? Oh no, Campanella's here. Enforcer number zero. After that, the Durflinger stopped at Crossvale Station for about 10 minutes. Once the supplies were loaded, it departed along the southern line. To the campsite. There's a medical college? 5.40 a.m. Okay. What about 5.43 or something? Like, does it have to be an even number like that? They're all just going by tens always. Setting up. Ca this looks exactly like the other location, but actually we can go forward. All right, let's go out and get the briefing done. I'm surprised we we're able to set up camp in a spot like this. This line connects to the medical university to the resort area in, in the south, right? Correct. The Ursula Branch Line, constructed a year ago, it's already in use. This is a reserved line managed by the RMP. A medical university? I don't know where there was such a thing here. I've never been to the resort area either. Well, they're both pretty crossbell specific places. I guess both places got way more popular after the railway line was put in. Yeah, it's definitely gotten a lot more convenient. Though, even before, there were always horrible buses and boats zipping around. By the way, about Class 7 Special Ops missions this time around. They'll be in the same procedure as the Sutherland, right? 
<clears throat> that is correct. You will be scouting the area and performing requests on behalf of the locals. As before, you will also report to the leader of the local area regarding the start of our field exercises. Oh. Right. Forgot about that. But then... The leader of their local area? If we report to Lord High Arms, then we were... When we were in the Sutherlands. Th that means... Yes. The Governor General who oversees the province of Crossbow, Rufus Alberea, right? Lord Rufus Alberea awaits you in his office in Orcus Tower. <sighs> Why? Why do I have to... Ugh. I really don't want to, but I guess... I don't want to see Rufus so soon. So, we're going to meet with Governor General Rufus. I've never met him before, but the thought makes me nervous. Yeah, I can understand that. But we're already acquainted, so talking with him shouldn't be too difficult. For real? He's supposed to be really handsome and smart. Sure isn't my type, though. My impression of him is that he is extremely intelligent. However, I was only used for a short period of time, so I do not know his, personal de his personality in detail. You were used? Was this one of your duties at the intelligence division? Ali, are you really okay? Of course, why do you ask? I was only ordered to perform various undercover assignments and arrest Duke Cayenne. Um... Should, uh, you really be talking about that? Well, it was back during the Civil War. Let's just put that aside from now. Once you're done getting ready, we'll head out. We're supposed to go down our sort of road, right? Yeah, it's the highway that runs along the lake. Judging from the map, we're not too far from the city. Alright guys, let's get going! Okay, lead the way. Hmm? Is she? Yeah. Oh. Uh... Th oh, thank you, Messer from Claire. I want to thank you for sending me that scrunchie. I've never received such a personal gift from a man before. And luckily, you're a man with an impeccable sense of style. Oh, she's wearing it! How about I wear it next time we hang out? It took some courage to send it, but it looks like it was worth it. Aw, thank you, Claire. Gotta restock? Ooh, the Imperial Chronicle here was Stark. Get that. Do I have enough battle scopes? I have 24. I have a lot of these. I don't know what we're gonna find in this area. Oh, we added to her. Maya's so cute. Like, all these students have, like, so good, such a good character design. Like, I wish my. We're just staring at Randy's butt. Alright. I wish Maya and Jessica were part of, like, Class 7. Class 7, like, should have been bigger. I don't know. Maybe in. The, ooh. What do we have here? Wait, we have a. Huh. Wow, Crossbow, it's been a while. It's been a while? I thought you were from Merferia. Did you come here on a trip before? Luis was living in Crossbow at some point. At one point. Yes, because one of my father's work, we stayed for two years. I left around three years ago. It was when I was about 13 or 14. I see. Before I enter the police academy, it would have been cool if we if I had met you then. Hmm, so true. If you were there for two years, wouldn't your paths have crossed at one point? That's true. <laughs> this really takes me back. The year I moved here was when Michelin Wonderland finished construction. I came here with my parents soon after. 
Oh, regarding Mishi, the mascot? Did you know his design was a little different in the beginning? No, I didn't know that. Um, the eyebrows were a little different, right? Hmm, Yuna, you're so knowledgeable. They'll call that one Retro Mishi now. They call that one Retro Mishi now. Hmm, that reminds me. My dad bought me a Mishi strap at the time. I took good care of it, but the Mishi part fell off. Sadly, they don't sell the Retro Mishi straps anymore. Hmm? <laughs> Please don't worry about it. So that Retro Mishi strap was important, was important to Louise. Maybe I'll go look for another... One for her when he when I have time. Yes, we should. I can challenge her too. Oh, well, more notes. Let's see what else. No, I couldn't find anything. I have been set up and I'm ready to go. So let's head to Orcus Tower. Wow. This is gorgeous. What a scenic place. I had heard Crossbell was just one big metropolis. <laughs> well, once you leave the city, you get this. Just like Erebonia, really. Right ahead wow. of us is Lake Elm. They've got pleasure boats set up to go around it. Hmm, don't do they now. Way down there on the right, you can just make out Michelin. It's a famous resort area. I hope we go there. Finally, on the left over there, is the International Trade City itself, Cross Bell City. It certainly is beautiful here. Yeah. I never came to the outskirts when I was here on my missions. Well, since we're here now, might as well enjoy it. Shall we head off to the city now, Instructor Reen? Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> yeah, you can tell Does it huh? seem as though she's acting a bit strange? Yeah, but let's leave her be for the moment. Uh, ooh, bunny rabbit. Ah, an opening! Well, I got something that if I defeat monsters, I automatically analyze them, so... Form. Damn! Even though I'm not going to defeat one. Oh, I did defeat one. All right. Let's see if it's true. Yep. I'll analyze. Perfect. You can't escape. Fire! That was easy. <laughs> well, look at that. Nice. Hmm, is this the way to Orcus Tower, or is it the way? Alright, that's the way, so I'm going this way. Ooh, it appears- everything appears on the map, I forgot. Sweet. Ooh, another new one. Second form, damn! Now! Alexis! It's my turn! My turn. It's down. It's mine. That's I shall well go. Down. Detector, so you can just get all the info. Detailed information obtained. My turn. Yeah. Battle complete. Let's continue. Well, at least buying. Be sure to get your equipment, believe. You gotta buy everything and just suit everyone up. Can't be having them face it with, like, old equipment. Oh, okay. Alright, we're not going that way, I guess.
Oh, well, that wasted crossbow, so... Oh, boy. Now, brace yourself! Keep a bison? Did it now. say that? Let's oh, we can go, just do everyone. this. Understood. I don't know if it's going to analyze it completely. Here I go! Yeah. Recover from break itself? Very well. Yeah. So what you do? Uh, My okay. turn. Yeah. I'm up. Yeah. It's down. I'll assist. And now dead. This is it. More enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot I did this. Oh yeah, Yuna does not have anything yet. You can't escape. My turn. I'm up. Get back. Oh, I wanted him. I wanted to I'll beat him, but thanks. It's okay. Let's go. Huh. It's down. It's mine. It's my turn. Yeah. Now. There we go, break. Yeah. Now. An opening! Let's go! Huh. And dead. Whew. Everyone okay? I must train even more. I'm getting a lot, so you know what that means. I'll be probably training here. Oh wait, it's this way. Ah, oh, treasure loaded. chest. Black records. Oh, let's do that immediately. Oh, nope, not that. Yeah. Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'll send you what I have for you to analyze. Very well. I'll start deciphering them. Leave it to me. You won't have to wait long for an update. Understood. Thanks. Anything to BB, anything to Monk. All right. This way. Where am I going? Oh, this just loops Damn. around. Like a lot of things Do you know here. something about those ruins in the water? Oh, yeah. The locals call it the Happily Ever After Shrine. They say that couples who say their vows here will be together forever. Yes, very romantic. You don't actually understand, do you? <laughs> she doesn't. Let's kill these mosquitoes then. How's this? Okay, I missed completely. They're in disarray. There we go. Yeah. It's my I'm sure turn. we've already scanned them with how many we've killed. Oh, there's a sheep there. It's what? my turn. I don't even see that. Where is it? Yeah, I've scanned all the sh things. I suppose that uh, way. What? It's already analyzed. You can't escape. Fire! My turn. Fire! There! An opening! Oof. I'll finish it. Let's I go. wonder if that's gonna give yeah. me like a lot of EXP Here or something. I'm up! How do you move so little? Uh. Here I go! Yeah! I'm I don't up. have movement on her. Huh. Now! Assist. 
Was my support helpful? Yeah, thanks as always. All right, what do we have here? Ah, oh, treasure chest. Tiara. Okay. Tira. Found a fish. <laughs> I could reel in a big haul here. This is a vent? Oh, it's a picture. Wow, you can see pretty far from here. A matchmaking shrine, huh? I'd like to know more about its origins. Instructor Reen, by any chance are you thinking about someone right now? No, not at all. Submerged ruins in Lake Elm. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for BB. Yes, you should. That's actually really pretty. Alright, looks good. I'll send it to her later. Or now. Let's see if BB likes what I've taken. So green. Hey BB. Just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm sending you that photo that I'm sending you a photo. Your reward. All right, I'm sure I will. Thanks, baby. What was it again? Here's the fishing spot. Let's see what we can fish here. I got one. I got a good one. Ooh, it's a new one. I haven't seen this one. That's cute. I got one. <laughs> nice. What's that? Hmm, not bad. Puffer. So this is the middle of the city. We have reached Crossbell. This is the central square. My, there are a lot of new buildings here. It's quite different from Heimdall. Orcus Tower is particularly impressive. There may be plenty of new buildings, but we've got a lot of historic ones too. Since Erebonia and Calvard used to govern this place together, it's got influences from both countries. I imagine so. That large bell there is rather impressive, too. And there are quite a few orbital cars on the road. That's just what I'd expect from one of the most cosmopolitan cities in Zemuria. Finally seeing the light, huh? I don't think anywhere in Arabonia is a match for this city when it comes to modern technology and orbital cars. <laughs> You're right. Perhaps, but the capital also has plenty of horrible cars. The main streets are always so congested, the only way to get anywhere is to take the trams. Well, uh... Population-wise, the capital is 880,000 and Crossbow is 530,000. In terms of modernization, Ruhr is a very technology technologically advanced city as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, but we're not trying to say Crossbow isn't great or anything. I'm simply saying, if you compare the cities by one aspect at a time... Why can't you just be impressed? This is the center of economics, international trade, and culture of the whole western half of Zemuria. We've got the best technology in the world here, including the Orbal Net. Heck, we even got Orbal air conditioning all over the place. That, that certainly is impressive. It's true that... Not many places have implemented the Orbal Network. <laughs> what? Do you think I'm being childish? No, I think it's great. You're right, this place is special in terms of technology, economics, and history. Once we start going around, they'll understand soon enough. Ah, good point. I am looking forward to it. 
Hmm. <laughs> anyway, don't we need to see the Governor General? We need to go to Orcus Tower. All right, let's head north to the administered district. Are we going to be taken there? Yes, we are. That's Orcus Tower. Holy hell. 250 yards. It's taller than I expected. I suppose this place must be quite important. Volume Wells, Bileflame Palace is bigger. But in terms of height, this building is the tallest in the world. Yeah, but I heard that it has a ton of empty unused rooms in it. I wonder why there are so many people running around here first thing in the morning though. It's probably because of the inspection team. Oh, yeah. Most likely. They're to arrive just past noon, right? Yeah, we'll need to find out what, how this affects our special operations missions. Let's go talk with the ge Governor General right away. Yeah. Move out. Alright, let's go see that. Out of the way, out of the way. Coming through, coming through. Whoa. Wow, this place is amazing. In terms both of technology and expenses. Well, it was built by the richest person in the world. The former president of Crossbell, as well as the CEO of the International Bank. You are from Thor's Military Academy branch campus, correct? No, oh, yeah, you're a guy. Yes, we are Class 7, Special Operations. I was told you'd be visiting. Please accompany me to the elevator over there. The Governor General is in his office on the 20th floor. 20th. Alright. <laughs> Great. Oh my lord. That view. It's not my first time seeing it, but it's still breathtaking. I'm sure the view from the top is even more impressive. It certainly is something. There's no view quite like this in the Empire. Is that so? Crossbell's changed so much since this tower was built. Oh. Really? A mayor populate, popular with the people declared our independence at an international conference. Then he went to war with both the Empire and the Republic. If he hadn't done all that, we'd still be... I see. My apologies, I neglected to do my research. <laughs> well, it's all in the past now. Let's hurry and go meet the Governor General. Yeah, let's go. The Governor General's room is the second set of doors. Please proceed down the hall. Understood. Let's go. You can see even the little face there. The second set of doors. This one. Well, the only one that doesn't have a rope in it. Where in the others were checked for security reasons. Afterwards, they were finally led to the Governor General's office. Pardon us, Governor General. Ah, uh, yes. Do come in. He's gonna be in an intercom. He's not even gonna be here. It's good to see you again. Excuse us. Oh no, there he is. Yes, it's what nice is... to see you both again too. Why do you sound different? I don't know. Rufus. Rufus Alvaria. Though I think it's my first time meeting the other two. I am the Governor General of the Province of Crossbell, Rufus Alvaria. Hey Rufus. It's a pleasure to meet the see. new Class 7 of Thor's branch campus. What is your plan? <laughs> it's been some time since I last saw you, but I can tell at a glance how different you look. 
You've definitely gotten taller. But more importantly, you've really matured. Thank you. Though I'd have to say Eusis has changed even more than me. Yes. So I hear. Speaking of, you seem to have changed as well. Yeah? And you haven't changed at all, Governor General. My height is approximately the same as it's always been. <laughs> uh, Allie! So tactless. <laughs> Granted, your blunt manner of speaking hasn't changed. It seems you have some good friends now, though. It's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. I am Kurt Vander, the second child of the Vander House. Ah, yes. Your father has helped me out a number of times in the past. It's unfortunate you didn't join the main campus, but I'm sure there are valuable opportunities to be had at the branch campus as well. Thank you. And you are... Una Crawford. Una, be nice, Originally please. Originally from the Crossbell Military Police Academy. I transferred to Thor's branch campus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard about you. You're yeah. acquainted with First Lieutenant Orlando and Second Lieutenant Seeker, correct? Uh, uh. Further, Major Revelt was the one who recommended you to the Academy. I'm sure you've gone through much lately, but I think you'll find your new school to be a good match for you. I believe it is a good blend of the perspectives of both Erebonia and Crossbell. Yes, I'll do my best. All right, then. I'll make my report now. Very well. I pray to Adios you find success. I'm sure you're already aware, but an inspection team will be visiting from the Imperial mainland. Despite the fact that we've raised our security level to the maximum, I used to have my concerns. The society has been active, and a cryptid has suddenly appeared. A cryptid? Oh, boy. We received a list of the special operations missions requested. Outside the normal requests, Reen also received an additional document labeled as Crucial Investigation Report. Oh boy. Investigator reports of cryptid sightings and crossbow pro- Come on! First was Archaisms, now cryptids? I is that? What's a cryptid? I feel like I've heard the term before. Cryptids are extremely powerful monsters with mysterious powers. During the Civil War, a number of them appeared around the Empire. But they're showing up in Crossbill now? Indeed, it seems one has spotted just the other day of the mountain path to the north. But I'm told this isn't the first time they've appeared at Crossbill. Have you, perhaps, perchance heard about them before, Yuna? Yes, I didn't know they showed up in the Empire too, but I heard a few of them appeared after the Declaration of Independence a year and a half ago. I see. But why would they appear, reappear now? Could it have something to do with the society? Given their actions in the Sutherland, they most definitely be our top suspects. I hope I can ask the branch campus to be out on the lookout. Understood. I'll relay your message to the others. Do we need to investigate the cryptid on the mountain path as well? No. That one has already been defeated. I like... For you to investigate the other areas which they were seen. Already defeated? Was it the Imperial Army's doing? No. A certain wanted fugitive took care of it. Ah. A wanted fugitive? Instructor Reen. Yeah. However, it wouldn't do to keep relying on a wanted man to clean things up for us. Therefore, I expect good news from all of you in regard of this task. And with that, I bid you all good luck, Ashton Chevalier and members of class, the new Class 7. Understood. After that, Reen and the others left Rufus to his preparations for the inspection team. Oh, before you go, a small bit of news from Lecter. It seems there's a possibility that there's... The Society's Witch is here in Crossbell. Vita? Really? They've traced the radio recording back to somewhere in Crossbell. It could be false lead, but the Intelligence Division is looking into it. No, understood. I'll be on the lookout myself. 
See, it's a she's a difficult woman to deal with, so do be careful. Also, it seems like you've been in contact with Yusus recently. Yeah, Most mostly through letters and oral messages. We haven't seen each other in a while since we've each been so busy. I see. Hmm. Have you not talked with him since? I haven't. We can speak about my younger brother when the opportunity presents. Though I'm sure we'll have much more to discuss besides just him. Crow. Ha <laughs> Buddy. Oh. Understood. When the opportunity presents itself. Oh boy. What were you talking with Governor General Rufus about? Was it about Yusus Alvarea? Yeah, more or less. Yusus, he's the Governor General Rufus' younger brother, correct? He's the acting head of the Alvarea Dukedom, which oversees the Cruzan province. He's also a member of the old Class 7. I see. Jeez, everyone from the old Class 7 is some mega hotshot? I mean, that Elliot guy is the sum of soul bigwig in the Imperial Army, right? I guess so. Though we may not measure up to the allies that Fugitive has helping him. Th that's I've been wondering. You seem to have an idea who this Fugitive could be. <laughs> but of course, he's the true hero of Crossbell. Lloyd Banning. He beat down right? an evil cult and arrested the dictator mayor. Excuse me? <laughs> Before the annexation, the Crossbell Police Department had a division called the Special Support Section. The man we're talking about was its leader. He and the other members overcame so much together. Okay, so first one is Lloyd. I see Orlando over there. That's Tio, if I remember correctly from the cutscenes. Uh, the white-haired girl um, is the one that's on Yuna's shoulder. And the far left, I do not know neither the wolf or the red-haired girl. That's red hair? Seems like it. And now, he's a fugitive in his own home. Lloyd Bannings. Yeah, we fought him. And we also fought another female that seemed really powerful. Instructor Randy was a member of the SSS too, actually. <sighs> Instructor Randolph worked alongside someone like that? So, if this man is a fugitive, what has he done? Did he resort to terrorism in an attempt to free Cross- Don't even joke about that! I mean, sure, he's in hiding now, but he's just trying to help Crossbell get its freedom back. Not to mention, he's helping people in trouble and hunting down cryptids. Yep. There's absolutely no way someone like him is a criminal. He and his friends are the ones in the right. Er. Uh. He certainly seemed like a just a person. Yeah, he couldn't be farther from being a dangerous fugitive they painted him as. Wait, you both know him? Yeah, we fought him back before he was branded a fugitive. Each of us refused to back down, but in the end, he came out on top. The weight of what he was shouldering, his flawless teamwork, I told him it was a tie at the time, but looking back, there's no question I lost. Well, I beg to differ. <laughs> you get it, Instructor. There's no doubt he and the rest of the SSS are Crossbell's true heroes. Way more than a certain Chevalier I could name. Hmm. But that doesn't change the fact he's a criminal. <laughs> like I said, I don't see him as a criminal at all. Though the Governor General certainly seems to. I know you don't want to hear this, but don't even think about going to help him out, okay? I know that. Even Randy's holding himself back. So, I'll give these special operation missions my all. Since Randy isn't allowed to go anywhere, I'll help lessen Lloyd's burden for him. Yuna, you're certainly energetic all of a sudden. I'm glad to see you're finally returned to your usual self. I agree, but that's strange. 
Ooh, who were these? Lloyd Bannings. I heard here she's on the run with that girl. What girl? Even if he gets help from the Divine Blade of Wind or Yin. Hmm. Lecter and Rufus. How long can he keep running like this? Oh boy. This is getting interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, but we are going to leave things off here. This episode was packed with a lot of information that it's you guys really need to digest and very very interesting advancement of the story anyway guys i'm gonna leave this here i really hope you guys are enjoying these videos because i sure am having a lot of fun if you guys are enjoying them like and share that always helps out subscribe to become part of the moonlight army today if you guys want to stalk me on my social medias the links will be in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next video so guys bye bye